What's going on everybody, Drew here. Today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a in-depth review, more or less a tutorial of LumaBooth. LumaBooth is one of our favorite iPad photo booth softwares. We have a couple that we use. Uh, this is the one that I typically recommend. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. But uh, before we get into the review, I just wanna let you know that we are using our party iPad photo booth. It's one of the many photo booths we sell on photobooth101.com. So if you're interested in getting a photo booth, if you're just getting started and you know, you want the sample contracts, all the good stuff that you'll need to get your business going. Also, um, you know, a little bit of mentorship for me. I'll be there to guide you on your journey. I will leave the link to our website for that in the description. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit screen record on the iPad. Then we can open up Luma Booth and we can get this thing going. All right, so we're recording. I'm gonna open up the app right here. So when you open up the app, this is what you see. You have the saved events on the left. Um, I already created an event. You can also duplicate an event by hitting uh, copy event settings and it'll take that event and keep the settings the same. That way you don't have to go back and actually change and auto tune the settings. You can have it done already for you. That way you don't miss out on any settings. So let's go ahead, launch event. All right, so I'm gonna work my way from the left to the right. The first update they've, um, Lumen Booth has recently done, they now have a camera preview button. So when you click that, right, you can actually now see yourself through the camera. And this is a big, big improvement because before you, you would have to have a photo or just one color on the welcome screen. And this is a big deal because now people will walk by the photo booth and see themselves and know it's a photo booth. And also too, they can actually prepare, right? You can pose get ready sit and like like coordinate the photo before starting it the photos won't feel as rushed and the i think the results are going to be a lot better so i'm excited to use this right now so um another thing about the welcome screen you can also change the text here and they've also incorporated a lot uh how, how can i say it they're allowing you to import fonts into luma booth so now it's not just a certain amount of uh, fonts how it was before you can literally download a font on defont.com on your ipad and have it used on the software Software. That's really useful. Um, let's go into print layout. I'm gonna just try my best to go over everything here. This print layout, this is basically the template. So you have the photos here that you can move around. You can change it to do four photos, one photo, and then you basically import your template and then you, you arrange the photos that way, if that makes any sense. And I also like that they have a layout under layout, a preset button. You can do all of the uh, these different layouts. You can have it do a four by six like that or a strip. These are the two that you're gonna use commonly. So this right here is a layout we made. It's a four by six. It's one from our wedding actually. And this one here is a two by six strip. If you have a, a photo booth printer like a DMP RX1, you can literally print two of these out. It'll cut it for you and all that stuff. So super useful. Um, like I said, I love this app because it's user friendly. Everything can be done on the iPad. So if you're at the event, you need to make some changes. You literally just use the iPad. You don't need a computer. So um, yeah, you know, um, all of this is customizable. Like I said, you don't have to make the template in the software. You can import the template from like, you know, your computer if you do Canva or Photoshop, all that. So. Um, Let's move forward. Um, capture mode. Okay, this is a this is where you basically select what events. I'm sorry, not events. This is where you select the experiences the guests will use. So let's say you just want to have it set to photo. You don't want the GIF boomerang video option. You will just make sure that's selected. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to leave everything there. And then um, before I move on, if you're doing 360, you would leave it just selected to boomerang in 360. And you can auto tune the 360 settings in the next step. But let's just leave everything selected. So we're gonna go to uh, capture settings. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and launch the event really quick. Let me show you guys everything. So we're gonna hit leave, uh, launch just to show you what the photo is like. Get ready. We're gonna pose for the photo. It's gonna take three. I'm a little okay. tall, so I gotta Smile. duck down. But yeah, as you guys can hear, there's actually an audio, it's like a voice, it's called um, Virtual Assistant. It's there to, to help people know the process of the photos, what's going on. Um, we're gonna hit next. Those are the filters. Good. Share your photos. And then it also has a selection for digital props, but we'll get into that later. So this right here is the share screen. After they take the photo, they have um, option to email it. You can text. 
you can scan a QR code, which is really, really cool. People geek out when they see this. So there's a group of eight people using the photo booth. Everyone can literally just take their phone out, scan it, and, and move on. You know, hitting your email and all that can take some time. So um, that's that. Let's go ahead and show you guys really quick the GIF option. So the GIF is gonna take three photos and then it's gonna put it into a video file. So usually you wanna do one pose, and then this one I'll do the... Okay, smile. I think that's like Wakanda forever. I just saw that movie, so. And my last pose Say to the side, too cool. This is my standard go-to pose. Cool, and from here, you can add a filter. Look at good. Share your photos. And then, boom, there you go. You see it puts in the video file, text, email, you wait a couple seconds, QR code pops up, and then you can also add a, a border to this, to the um, to the GIF and Boomerang, so they can all have their own overlay or underlay, I guess you can call it. Uh, we'll move on to Boomerang, skip the filter. Ready. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna record a bunch of photos really quick. So you wanna make a bunch of movements. That way it's just, a, it'll make for a better uh, video file. You see right there, puts it together. So you can imagine with a bunch of people in this experience, this one is actually probably one of the funnest ones. Same thing, text, email, QR code. And then last, it is video recording. It's exactly what you think. It's gonna record a video with audio. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this tutorial. If you wanna buy a photo booth, go to photobooth101.com, link in the description. Share your photos. All right, and then there you go. So same thing, text, email, QR code will pop up. Thank you. All right, so let's go back to the capture settings. So you just saw all of the capture modes. Now you can, I wanna explain the settings. Really quick, I'm not gonna get into detail with this because you can download this and check it out and fine tune it. It's just, you know, for each experience you can change the, the time between the photos, before the photos. You can change the quality of the, um, the boomerang and all of this stuff, um, the 360 capabilities, this is where you would come in here and turn it on and all of that good stuff. So if you wanna fine tune your settings there, you can do that. Um, print setup, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. I made a video about printing before in the past, but if you do wanna print on Luma Booth, you guys, it's so easy. It's as, I'll just tell you really quick. You basically have your printer, you get a laptop, and then on that laptop, you download Luma Assistant. You can download that on Luma Booth's website, and that's called the print server, right? Then you get your iPad. You want to make sure that your iPad and your laptop are on the same connection and you want to make sure, uh, same internet connection. Then you want to make sure your laptop is connected to your printer. It'll send the photo from the iPad to the laptop and then the print server will tell your printer it's time to print and it'll print it. It's super easy. I think it's the most reliable way to do it. But you can basically you know, do your print settings right here. Um, you can make it print automatically and then you can also set a max print so if you don't want to do any more than 500 prints at an event, you want to cap it off, you can do that. I usually leave print automatically off. I let the guests choose if they want to print or not. So let's move forward. Um, background removal. This is basically green screen. Um, if you guys know any, anything about green screen, you can have a green background and then basically have a file pop up behind you. But what I love about Luma Booth is they have something called artificial green screen. I'm gonna make a video about this in the future, like a detailed one. What this does, it'll basically, and it's amazing too. I think Luma Booth has one of the best artificial green screens in the iPad photo booth software field. But what it will do, it'll take the photo and then it'll crop out the background and whatever's in the background, it'll put what file you have. And um, to me, that's been a game changer. We actually upcharge for this feature and it saves us time. We don't have to set up a backdrop. We can literally just have the photo booth facing a wall and that's more than enough. So that is that, we'll move forward. The next setting is camera settings. I'm gonna be really brief about this. Um, camera settings are important for a few reasons because if you're doing a drop off and you're leaving your photo booth at the event, you wanna make sure that you have these settings set to automatic because if you go during the morning and the photo booth is out and um, the lighting is one way, right? Let's just say you're in the venue, you set up, the lights are on. If you set your settings to manual, if they turn the lights off, the image isn't gonna be right. The, you're gonna to have to, it's gonna be an issue. So if you leave it on automatic, the camera will adjust with the lighting situation, if that makes any sense. But if you wanna get the crispiest, sharpest, well-lit photos, and if you're gonna be at the event, you can dial everything in manually. That's gonna be the best way to get the best image possible. And again, guys, iPad photo booths are all about lighting. Lighting is everything. So let's move on. 
to stickers. Okay, so stickers are what I like to refer to as digital props. Um, you know, they have some some standard ones. They come here, but the cool thing about Luma Booth is you can actually create your own digital props. So like, let's say you get hired to do a wedding. You can offer it as an upgrade, um, five free digital props. You know, maybe you ask for the broom, uh, sorry, the broom, the groom's photo, the bride's photo. If they have any pets, get those photos. And what you can do is crop out their heads on Photoshop or Canva and create a PNG file and upload it to Luma Booth. And that, that's a lot of fun. We've done that for a few, few, uh, customers. So let's move on. Uh, effects, also known as filters. Um, it's exactly what it is. It's like Instagram. You know, when you take a photo, you can select a filter to add. They even have a glam filter. It's been made popular by like Kim Kardashian and her family. What that does is basically takes a photo and um, makes your skin look really, really nice. It's kind of like a black and white look, um, this filter right here. Um, you can even just promote your booth as a glam booth and just have that function only. Take out boomerang, gif, and video and just have it take the glam filter photos and again that means you have to have great lighting and a white background glam works best on a white background so let's move forward right keep this thing going um, so th those are pretty much the setup settings. Now to the right side of the screen, the sharing and add-ons. This is really important because you can select how your guests get their photos via email or text. And then you can even customize in the body, right? Like of the text and the email, basically saying like, hey, thanks for using our photo booth um, for Drew's photo booth rentals. Here's your photo. If you enjoyed the service and you wanna hire us and get a discount, call us today and reserve today. You can have a call to action. You can promote your business that way just through the messages and this is important because everyone that gets their photo will remember like oh the company I can text them or respond that way so this is really cool um, to do it that way and then next is sharing settings um, other ways to share um, you can you can have a QR code you can allow guests to airdrop airdrop is really really cool if you're like for instance we had a yacht party where we got hired for someone's birthday and there was no internet in the middle of the sea but what we did is we enabled airdrop so anyone with an iPhone was able to get their photos right away, which was really neat. Um, Twitter, you can do it Twitter, but it's a lot of typing on the iPad and I like to keep it quick. So text, email, and airdrop. I'm sorry, text, email, and QR code are the three main ones that we allow them to share. And then real quick, share, uh, sorry, sharing screen. Um, you see right here, you can change the time, right? You can have it to 30, 30 seconds, but we like to keep it around 30 seconds, I can't get it there with my hand. But anyways, 30 seconds, and what that is, is after someone uses your photo booth, if they don't touch the photo booth or do any actions, it's gonna reset back to the welcome screen and get the photo booth ready for the next user. So if you have it too short, some people leave it at five seconds, and I think that's not enough time. Someone may put the number in, and then the next person may be ready to put their number in, and if you don't give them enough time, it's gonna go back, and they're not gonna have access to that photo. 30 seconds to me is a sweet spot. And then there's a retake button, which I think you should leave on. Um, it's a simp it, it is exactly what it means. It's literally a retake button. So if they take the photo, their eyes are closed, they don't like the photo, they can just hit retake and then it brings them to the welcome screen again, then they can start the, the photo. And um, we are getting close. Oops, let me go back here, sorry. All right, virtual attendant. This is, uh, when I was taking the photos, you would hear that voice guiding people through the experience. That is the virtual attendant. I like to leave it on because it, it really helps a lot of people um, understand what's going on. The say cheese, that could be an uh, audio reminder, right? Maybe someone's grabbing a prop, they hear it, they know that it's coming, then they can come back for the photo. And the cool thing about Luma Booth is they have different voices. So you can change it from like an American uh, female to an American male, British female, the list goes on. And you can even cut customize your own voice. You can include it in the software, and then um, all of this stuff is really cool. It's really, really neat. You could do it in here. Um, next up, we have the disclaimer. We're so close to wrapping the video up. I, uh, thank you guys for watching this far. I know it's a long video, but there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Disclaimer, you can keep that. Um, we don't use it often, but if you want a disclaimer on, you can use this for a few reasons. Let's say you want to use the photos taken by the people at the party, the event. You can put a disclaimer saying, hey, by agreeing to this you are allowing us to use your photos for marketing reasons or using your number and phone number for marketing reasons as well so you can leave that on so legally I guess you can say you can kind of cover your ass because you have it here um, let's move on and then a survey mode 
uh, basically, you want to ask people questions while they use the photo booth. Um, a lot of corporate events like to do this. It could be a lot of trade show um, events and stuff like that. We honestly really never use this one. Um, okay, so now we're almost done, guys. Uh, the more sharing status. This is important. The sharing status is showing you what photos are pending. And when you have a photo pending, that's usually because you don't have good internet connection. And if there's no connection, the photos can't get sent out. So 99.99% of the time, if you have issues, it's your internet. And the cool way uh, I like to do is every time before I break down my photo booth and leave, I go to sharing status and I make sure that all of the photos are in the sent today section. That's super important. And if you do have any issues with your photos not sending, just basically close the app out, start it again, take a photo, put your number in, and then you'll see everything send. But again, you have to make sure you're connected to internet. And uh, lock pin, this is simple, it's just a pin that you create on here. That way when you launch your event and if you're leaving or if you're even there, you can press lock. That way no one can get into the, the settings without hitting your code. And then uh, account is just account information about your, your Luma Booth account and then about just basically tells you about the, um, the app version you have. And before I get into the review, I just want to talk about the online gallery. This is a thing I wish Luma Booth would work on. Um, it's kind of complicated. So if you want to get uh, the link gallery and have access to your gallery and you know all of that good stuff, you have to go to photoshare.co. It's a website you would type in. It's F-O-T-O-S-H-A-R-E dot co. So you basically go to that website and then if it's your first time using it, you type in the login section, your um, Luma Booth email and your Luma Booth password. Then you can see the gallery, you can grab that link, you can make that gallery private, that way there's no gallery, so you know you can adjust to that. And then they have upgrades on um, photoshare.co as well. Um, I know a lot of people get confused when it comes to that. I wish Luma Booth would just have a Luma Booth website because um, to me, I'm just it's just a little confusing. confusing. You guys want my honest review? Um, that was more of a less the tutorial. My honest review and opinion about the software is I give it 10 stars out of 10 stars for the simple fact that it's the most affordable software that has all of the features and and more that you'll need yes there's some things that I think they can improve on um, but they're just small things that I think that are really easy for them to do like one thing you know when it comes to text or put in the email um, I feel like the the size of the numbers are really small and then when you have to type it's really small I wish they would utilize the whole screen um, but these are just small things that that you know it's just my own my own opinion I am sure that they're going to address these in the future. I hope hope so. Um, but yes, yeah, so when we're talking about affordability, $20 a month, you can use two different photo booths running at the same time. And then if you want to grow your business, I believe they, uh, I don't know the exact number for the uh, pricing for it, but you know, just getting started, 20 a month, literally you do one event, that should cover you for a long time for the software. Um, they do have a Facebook group. You can join the Facebook group. I will leave that link in the description. You know, you can ask questions. There's people that use, you know, people like me, I'm on there. So if you, uh, you can see me in the they're asking some questions from time to time. They give you app updates. Um, the software is amazing. So um, highly recommend you guys. This software is is really, really cool. I'm gonna also leave a link in the description if you wanna download the software on your iPad, use that link. Um, you can use a trial, it's free, um, but it will have a watermark. Um, if you wanna use the software without the watermark, that's when you have to pay for the account. So that's gonna wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If uh, And again, you guys, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and if you're interested in starting your own iPad photo booth business, I will leave link um, a link to buy your own photo booth and get all of the stuff you need to get going in the description. See you soon.